okay guys so this is the first episode of what i'm going to be sharing with you guys what i'm learning i'm going to be sharing with you guys so for the first two weeks what i will suggest for you to do is get one of these a notebook this is going to be handy after you get your notebook write down your ideas in your notebook so what you want to do is you want to come up with a name you want to think of a name something that's meaningful to you my suggestion for that reach out to the people that are following you if you're on instagram holy smokes there are so many people with great ideas and are willing to give it to you for free this is what i did i went on my story i posted you know hey guys I'm trying to start a business can you please help me out people were more than happy to help me in coming up with a name next register your company that's gonna be a video all on its own you guys can leave a comment down below telling me if you guys want to explore that but it's um self-explanatory all you have to do is just hop onto google and then say i want to register my business in whichever state you live in the discovery that i've made in registering a business is it varies from state to state some states require more than others and in some state you can pay more than others it ranges from 50 to eight hundred dollars it gets you know there's like more steps to it but hence i said it's going to be another video step number three you want to figure out where you want to sell your items do you want to sell it on amazon do you want to sell it on shopify uh do you want to sell it on wix do you want to sell it on big cartel i know shopify from my own experience because i decided to go with shopify I know with Shopify, they give you 14 days to try out the website to see, like, you know, play around with it and see if um, it's something for you. And, you know, everyone's different. So I think that Shopify may work for me, but it may not work for you, depending on um, what you're into um, and what design that you're looking for. So I suggest that you play around with it. Like, I know once you start something, you want it to be, like, you know, popular, <laughs> like, the next day. But also what I'm learning through this process is you have to have patience. Next, you want to get a domain name. What is a domain name? So you have Amazon.com. That is a domain name. When you sign up with Shopify, you automatically get a domain name. So let's say, for example, like mine, Black Diamonds Lashes. Instead of saying .com, it's going to say .shopify.com. So in order to get rid of that Shopify, you're going to have to get a domain name. How do you do that? Go to godaddy.com and it's just, it's self-explanatory. You have a few different options. It asks you if you want .com, .net, .org. After you've done everything, now you want to design your logo. You know, something that would tell somebody, hey, this is what this is about. You can go on Canva and design something. You can design something on your own or you can hire somebody to design a logo for you. I was blessed to have my friend designed the logo for me. Thank you, Namiza. Thank you, Robin, for designing my logo. Now you're going to have to find a manufacturer of the item that you're wanting to sell. In my case, I have been dreaming about selling lashes, so I needed to go and find a manufacturer for lashes. Most people use Alibaba, and this is where I ended up going. I've had experiences in the past with Alibaba, so I chose Alibaba. Once you find your manufacturer, now, you have to go through a slew of items because if you type in lashes or 3D lashes, there will be so many that will pop up. So there are so many lashes. Um, you have to look at the bands. You have to look like what kind of style do you want. Shout out to the manufacturer. Here's a hint. Not everybody that's listed in Alibaba is a manufacturer. Sometimes they're a third party. So what they do is you contact them and they contact the manufacturer. So they're getting a cut from it and most likely those lashes are going to be even more in price so you have to directly ask like when you email the person in the inquiry right in the box there's a message box right in the box and ask are you the manufacturer another thing that you have to remember majority of the people that are on alibaba are from china so you are going to have to consider the time difference when we're sleeping here they're up when they're up we're sleeping so there are going to be days that you're going to have to sacrifice and stay up later than usual to communicate with your manufacturer after communicating with the manufacturer for two to three weeks and you've gotten everything right now you're going to have to wait patiently until your items get over to you 
So this is where, this is the part where I'm at right now. I'm waiting for my items to come to me. I am going to definitely be filming a little haul video for you guys because I'm like super excited because everything is coming together nicely. I really do feel blessed even though it took me two, two to three weeks almost to get these um, items together. But it's just, it just goes to show that you just have to be patient. If this is really what you want, you are going to have to be meticulous like about the smallest, smallest detail, like stuff that you didn't even think that, you know, was going to be an issue. Like for, for example, conversion and measurements, you're going to have to Google, like Google everything. We do inches here. Um, we do, you know, I think we sometimes we do centimeters, but majority of the time we do inches. So you're going to have to learn to convert those to millimeters or centimeters. But it's easy with the with the help of Google. Anything and everything is possible. There you have it, guys. Until next time, uh, stay tuned for episode two. Bye. So if you don't understand something, don't be afraid to ask all your questions in the inquiry box when you hit the inquiry tab.